of WROC in Rochester. This is News 8 at 11 in high definition. Good evening. We are starting with the latest on a story that we've been following in the village of Victor since this morning. Ontario County Sheriff Phil Pavaro calls it the longest standoff he has ever seen. After 12 long hours, the SWAT team got a Victor man and woman to come out of a house after shots were fired earlier today. Tina Shively is live now in the Jacobs Landing neighborhood of Victor to tell us how all this started and ended within the hour. Tina? That's right, Maureen. The situation ended peacefully when the pair came walking out of the home just before 9 o'clock tonight. Now, just moments ago, families were allowed to go back into their neighborhood and back into their homes tonight, and I got a first-hand look at the house. We want to show you the pictures now. You can see lots of broken glass on the front of the home and also some broken windows on a car that SWAT units dragged across the street from the front of that home at 34 Ketchum Street. Shots were fired inside the house around 5 o'clock this afternoon, and they kicked up the investigation into high gear. Robots were sent in, equipped with cameras. Then flashbangs were used, and then tear gas. The pair were forced out. They came out about two hours ago. The introduction of uh, robots uh, into uh, the residence was extremely uh, important and provided a tremendous amount of, of intelligence. Uh, again, that uh, led us to uh, being able to introduce gas in an area that we believed was appropriate for the location of uh, uh, the suspect and, uh, and the other individual inside the residence. Now, the sheriff tells me the pair had no visible injuries, but they were checked out by medical personnel. They are now in the custody of the Ontario County Sheriff's Department. In Victor tonight, Tina Shively, News 8.